وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين Praise be to Allah, we praise Him and we seek His help Whomsoever Allah guides is the truly guided one and whomsoever Allah leaves astray no one can show him guidance. May peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to a new episode of the Prophet's Prayer. We left you last time with the position of sujood and I know that many of you are excited to know what is the proper recitation of adhkar during sujood according to the sound sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So let us Watch the Shaykh as he is reciting while in the state of sujood. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Subhana Rabbi al-A'la Well, as we did talk about the adhkar while in the state of ruku' this is the sunnah Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to say Subhana Rabbi al-A'la twice. But the wajib or the minimum requirement is to say it at least once. But the Prophet ﷺ sometimes recited it more than that. In addition to other supplications which you may or may not recite, it's up to you. But of course, the longer you are in sujood, while you are the closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this position, of course, is the best. The Prophet ﷺ said in one hadith, أَقْرَبُ مَا يَكُونُ الْعَبِدُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ وَهُوَ سَاجِدْ the position of sujood or prostration, the servant is the closest to his creator in this position. So the Prophet ﷺ advised us to seize this opportunity and take advantage of being very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and increase making dua and supplications. So now let's level some of the supplications the Prophet ﷺ used to recite while in sujood. سبوح قدوس رب الملائكة والروح اللهم لك سجدت وبك آمنت ولك أسلمت سجد وجهي للذي خلقه وصوره وشق سمعه وبصره تبارك الله أحسن الخالقين Indeed, blessed Allah, the best of all creators this position, brothers and sisters, try to seize this opportunity by being very, very close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And now you may pray for yourselves, for your family members, for the entire Muslim ummah by asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of us <coughs> and to wipe away our sins and mistakes and forgive us our faults and drawbacks. So recite many dua, but just remember, as what we said while in Ruku'ah, the Prophet ﷺ prohibited us from reciting the Qur'an while in Ruku'ah or while in Sujood. However, in Sujood, we are recommended to make dua. So sometimes a person would choose some verses of the Qur'an which are phrased in the form of supplication, such as, رَبَّنَا هَبْ لَنَا مِنْ أَزْوَاجِنَا وَذُرِّيَّاتِنَا قُرَّةَ أَعْيُنٍ وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ إِمَامًا And such as, رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ And many, many verses. So please, this position, remember that it's a very common mistake and the Prophet ﷺ warn us against that. Do not resemble a dog while you are in the position of sujood. Your elbows should be completely up 
and away from your body. As a matter of fact, the Prophet ﷺ was seen while in sujood that they could see the whiteness of his underarms, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And now, after finishing all the supplications, we're ready to sit up. So let us watch the Shaykh. Allahu Akbar. This sitting is going to be the same sitting of the middle tashahud as well. There are some adhkar to be recited in between the two prostrations because each rak'ah, which is a unit of a prayer, consists of one standing and one bound down ruku' and two prostrations with one sitting in between. So the Shaykh is going to recite the supplication in between the two prostrations as saying, Afterward, as we said, each rak'ah consists of standing, ruku' and two sujood. So the Shaykh is going to illustrate the second sajda or prostration of the same rak'ah as well. Allahu Akbar. And of course, with the same adhkar. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la, glory be to my Lord, the Most High. Say that twice or even more. And he says, Subuhun Quddusun Rabbul Malaikati wal Ruh. Allahumma laka sajat wa bika amant wa laka aslamt. Sajada wajhi lalladhi khalaqahu wa sawwarahu wa shakka sam'ahu wa basarahu. Tabarak Allahu ahsanu al-khaliqeen. And again, more and more dua. And afterward, we're ready to go to the next rak'ah or the next unit. So, we will just satisfy, will be satisfied with the illustration of one rak'ah. And similarly, the second rak'ah will be the same, except that. In the second rak'ah, there is no beginning supplications, dua ul istiftah. There is no isti'ada or saying, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim As we agreed that al-isti'ada to be recited only in the very first rak'ah. But of course, before reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, one would have to say, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So the shaykh now is going up to the next rak'ah. Of course, with takbir. Allahu Akbar. And do the same thing again, placing the hands on the chest, the right on the left, beginning with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And I would kindly request the Shaykh to recite beautifully Surah Al-Fatiha once again. So let us listen carefully. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. And of course, he's going to recite in the second rak'ah another surah. والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خس إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. Afterward, we're ready for ruku' once again in the second rak'ah. So please follow carefully. الله أكبر. Remember, we said raising the hands is a sunnah. While going for ruku' and while rising up from ruku'. So now we have three positions and remains with us one more position that the companions of the Prophet ﷺ have seen the Prophet ﷺ raising his hands 
while he is going to the third rak'ah after finishing the middle tashahud. Same adhkar of ruku'ah. Subhana rabbi al-azim. Three times or more. Minimum once. Subuhun quddusur rabbul malaikati wa ruh and so forth. Do not recite Quran nor make dua or supplications while in a state of ruku'ah. Rather, now we're ready to say, Sami'a Allahu liman hamida. Sami'a Allahu liman hamida. Rabbana laka alhamd. Or, Rabbana laka alhamd wa hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fi. As well as other supplications which we discussed before. And now once again going for sujood. Allahu Akbar. And without any further delay, sitting up once again. Allahu Akbar. And going for sujood the second time. Allahu Akbar. And now we're ready to sit for the middle tashahud and listen to the recitation of at tahiyyat At-Tahiyyat lillah wa salawat wa tayyibat Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabiy wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi as-salihin أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. Well, up to there is the middle of التشهد. There are some other scholars who stated that the person in the middle تشهد still also have to recite the entire تشهد. So anyway, let's listen to the rest of the recitation of التشهد, which is known as الصلاة الإبراهيمية. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد by that, we finish the illustration of two rakas. Whether it's more than two rakas prayer or just two rakas prayer, such as Salatul Fajr or any uh, voluntary prayer, Sunnah. Inshallah, from next time, we're going to learn more and more and what to do afterwards. So please stay tuned and see you next time. I leave you in the protection of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.